Hey everyone, so today I'm going to show you the exercises that I'm doing for my shoulder for the first couple of weeks. Now these are basically passive and a little bit of active range of movement exercises just to keep the body moving um, because the most important thing at this stage is healing. As much as my rehab is going to be great because I got a really good surgery um, and my surgeon was fantastic, the most important thing he said is healing. So I've got to let this thing sit in that sling and let it heal and so my rotator cuff doesn't really move and doesn't really activate i don't want too much stresses or load through there so the exercises are to stop the thing seizing up but not too much pressure on it so you'll see on the video the first one i do is elbow flexion extension now initially that was quite hard to get my arm out of the sling for one but you have to have the elbow and the shoulder supported by a pillow you can't have it down in extension so you'll see that i've got a support on a pillow that makes you relax a little bit more and then you can um, actually go slowly into extension now initially i couldn't even get to extension now i need to full extension full flexion of the elbow joint which frees the elbow up stops it aching because you know sitting in a sling at 90 degrees all day all night is pretty tough so getting it out three or four times a day doing these exercises is really important um, then i go through forearm rotation supination pronation um and then i do through uh, wrist flexion and extension which is really good to try and get the whole forearm and wrist moving just be careful with the forearm supination because you do activate your bicep when you supinate so if you've had a tendinesis that's a uh, one you just have to be very slow and very careful of that you're not doing too much with that um, and then in standing because i don't um, have anyone home right now um, I'm in my set of exercises I have to do them myself so I am doing two sort of what they call rock the baby exercises which is one is abduction adduction which you'll see and the other one is flexion extension well the flexion part to be fair um, because we're not going to any extension so the flexion you'll see that because I can cradle with my other arm I'm not using my rotator cuff I'm using my right arm um, and I can just about get up to about 80 degrees, 80, 90 degrees when I'm bent over. So I couldn't do that standing up because it activates your arm too much. But when you're lying down with a bit of gravity, you can actually take your left arm up to about 80, 90 degrees, um, which is great for the movement and actually frees it up. Now, initially, it's a bit sore you know, and you're a bit nervous. But once you get about through about the third set, because on each one of these things, I'm doing about three sets of 20. By the time you get to the third set, it actually loosens up and feels a lot better. So you've got to start off slow and then slowly get through it. And by the end, you'll feel probably a lot, a lot better. Um, and then I've also got um, external rotation. Now, with external rotation, it's got to be passive. And I don't want to go past zero degrees. So as in by your side. Now, because my arm is in abduction, I don't really go to zero degrees anyway. I think I'm sitting at probably at about 60, 80 degrees. Um, not even 80 um, and I use the pole which is just an old um, painting pole um, to push my arm slowly out into external rotation and then back to internal rotation that's a really nice way of loosening up that shoulder um, but staying in my, within my parameters making sure I don't go through to any extreme ranges because listen it's only the first week and we're just trying to get things moving um, and letting things heal so have a look and I'll see you next time